One of the best things you can do for your plants and soil is to add a layer of mulch periodically. But before you start, envision fine art. Most people love mulches, whether they be fir bark or straw or leaves. They're organic material that breaks down and eventually enhances the soil. But what if you wanted to do something that wasn't biodegradable? Something that would give incredible pizzazz in the yard. Something that would be a focal point. What if you thought about using specialty glass? What we've got here is recycled glass, whether it comes from an old window or bottles. What happens is they melt it down, they add the color, and then they tumble it to get rid of all the sharp corners. But what I like about it is you can use it as a mulch. It's inorganic, means that it won't break down, but the good thing about it is it lasts forever and it still has the same benefits as other mulches. And it is so spectacularly beautiful. This Asian-inspired bed is beautiful in its own right, but watch what happens when we add colored glass mulch. All of a sudden, the dazzling blue backdrop highlights each individual plant and creates the elegant look and feel of a bubbling stream. I'm not gonna use this glass mulch in the entire bed. In my opinion, less is more. And in this case, I wanna accent it around the juniper and these mugo pines and take it right up to the rock. That way, it really has an impact. My feeling is, if you did the whole bed, it would lose its drama. But if you do touches of it and you use it in the right place, it just it makes it dynamic. In about 10 minutes, we've used mulch to create a masterpiece. And that's what innovation in the landscape is all about. Functional designs that are visually stunning. You know what another great use of this specialty art glass is? Using it around a fountain. I mean, look at how the blue accentuates the blue color in this pot. It's really quite spectacular. Anytime you can use glass around water, it just makes it such a wonderful focal point. You not only can use the specialty glass around the fountain, but how about using it in the fountain? The only drawback with the specialty glass is that it's a bit on the expensive side, but if you use it sparingly, the effect is unique and well worth every cent. And after all, the glass is always greener. Mm -hmm.